Oh, hello again, everyone. Welcome back. Thanks for visiting once again. And uh, unusually, well, not unusually, it's the cricket season. I'm on a cricket pitch. So the second team at Chagford today have a bye. And so I've come along to look at the first team. And I've joined them at an interesting moment because we are 249 for five wickets. As you can see, if I just zero in on that there, you can probably just about make that out. Uh, we have a, a player, which is Jake, in the person of Jake, on 86 runs. So he's got an opportunity to make himself a century. So I have a rather nice opportunity here to try and um, see um, a century scored here at Chagford. And uh, Jake's just played a late cut away there. Slightly airy, but um, it's going to go for two runs. And he runs easily through for two there. Um, and the fieldsman returns the ball to the wicketkeeper who tries to kick it up to his um, to his hand but misses but never mind he's quite sharp behind the stumps this wicketkeeper so um, the ball is recycled round and um, we're playing Plimpton by the way so here we go bowler bar comes in uh, right arm over and bowls the ball and Jake <coughs> adopts an attacking stance to this uh, looking to hit the ball away through into the offside <coughs> excuse me and um there was no run. Anyway, so this is Plimpton, um, the, one of the largest clubs in the local area, in Plymouth area, and they, um, they uh, have, I think, four or five teams. That's played out into the extra cover area. They've got a fieldsman on deep extra cover boundary, and away it goes for a single, and he returns the ball quite smartly. Um, the chap you can see running there is the square leg umpire, so we have a right-hand, left-hand combination here. We've got Paddy Pousty, who's the first-team wicketkeeper um, in batting at the moment. Uh, being five wickets down, he'll be number seven, I suspect, which is always my um, preferred position for a wicket keeper. Um, and uh, that was a play and miss. Keeper fields the ball behind the stumps, attempts the stumping, but uh, Paddy was firmly within his ground, that is to say, behind the line of the crease. Ball's recycled round to the um, oh, well, I've got my finger in front of the screen then. Um, uh, recycled to the bowler who comes in and overcomes his arm. That's short and hit away on the leg side, away to the deep square leg fielder and the batsman come through for a single. So, uh, Plimpton are vying for promotion um, this week, oh sorry, this, this season. Um, and obviously, as you know, Chagford first team are up at first place. Uh, they're heading the league at the moment. So, this is a, um, this is a fairly key game. It's one of those ones you, you don't want to slip over on. So, we're putting ourselves into a strong position and that's hit away on the leg side behind square to the deep square leg fielder who throws it in that's a good strong throw from the young lad taken by the wicket keeper there and um, that then is the over so let's have a quick turn around again have a look at the scoreboard here as you can see we're batsman number seven and batsman number five batsman number five is on 90 not out batsman number seven is on 15 not out with a total of 54 runs and 40 overs gone so this is a 45 over game so um i think five overs for jake to score another 10 runs and we might even see a century scored again at chagford um, which would be rather nice. So we look round here at the sight screen. This sight screen is here for those of you who uh, wonder what these things are for, um, to allow the batsman to pick up the red ball on the white background. It makes it much easier for them to see that. So I'm just behind the, um, I'm just behind the, near the bowler's arm. I'm gonna move slightly further away so that there's nothing behind the bowler's arm and we'll zero in just a little bit here so we can see what's going on here so here comes the bowler coming in and jake plays and there's an appeal for leg before wicket that looks like it's going down the leg side um, and so there is no run but also more importantly there is of course no wicket so sorry i've not got steady cam and i'm using um unsteady cam so I'll try and hold this as steadily as I can as I uh, narrate what goes on here. I'm not going to call it commentating because I'm not a commentator, as you well know. So that's a, a straight hit there. That ball's um, run away and the mid-on fielder has fielded it and they come back for two runs. They've run that first run quickly and made two there and that was hit straight back over the bowler's head. Uh, looking for a four. There's always a gap straight here. So if the ball is um, bowled straight, it can be hit straight. So 
uh, you do run the risk of being bowled out, but um, that's risk and reward. So here we go, bowler comes in, overcomes his arm, and that's hit his pad on the leg side, Jake there, and he goes away, he's fielded by the wicket keeper, and there is no run or leg by at all. So um, there we are. I will, for the benefit of you who come from not England or don't understand cricket, um, some people in the modelling world have a bit of an explanation of the game of cricket at one stage, but not today. So that's um, bowled down the leg side and that's signalled wide by the umpire here, young Richard. Um, he signals wide by stretching his arms out straight and signalling to the scorers. So that means that an extra ball will be bowled and an extra run is added in the column marked extras and it brings Joe Pousty to the crease. Um, who seems um, at the moment to be quite comfortable. He's our wicketkeeper, as I've said before. And um, so the over continues. So here we go. And that was um, play and miss there, straight into the keeper's gloves. And there is no run there. Uh, and the ball is recycled round to the bowler again, who's taking a fair-sized run-up, as you can see. I'll see if I can follow in on his run-up. Um, and we'll watch him go in, in here. So here we go. And over comes his arm. And that's hit fairly strongly out into the extra cover area. Fielded by the, by the player. They've taken two. Uh, very comfortable two runs there because that's quite a long carry out there to the deep extra cover boundary area because this guy's sort of three quarters of the way out here. He's now returned to mid off really. He's run round to extra cover. Um, so here we go. We carry on again. And um, Joe is uh, pushing that away for a single out towards uh, the third man area. So third man is behind square on the, uh, on the leg side and that is the over. So Joe steals the strike there um, and uh, let's move back out again so that we can, uh, yeah, we're up at 2.5 times magnification here. And that's 42 overs gone now. So uh, We'll carry on watching for a while, and now we can watch from behind the um, from behind the um, the batsman here, and we can see this. I'll just see if I can position myself to be able to show what's going on here. Um, it'll be um, more difficult to see. I want to see the batsman as well, so it's more more difficult to see. But let's zero in here, and here we go, and that's hit away through the extra cover boundary and that's gone away for four so the first ball has gone for four uh, umpire there signaling four he signals that by waving his hand back and forth horizontally until the scorer signals that he's seen it on odd occasions on sunday cricket you may see this happen and of course um, uh, the the umpire is forced to signal for a very long time until he is certain anyway next ball coming in joe to face and uh, that's bowled and hit away towards the long on uh, boundary. Oh no, it's the deep mid wicket boundary. It was round a little bit further and that brings Jake to the crease on 92 now. He's moved on a little bit. He's on 92 runs. So at what they call the nervous 90s now. Um, and uh, he's looking around, see where he can hit the ball, see where the gaps are. Plenty of them here on this particular field at the moment. So bowler comes in, overcomes his arm. And um, Jake takes a cheeky single there. And as you can see at this stage in the game, there are singles more or less everywhere. Um, and this is a good strategy from the, um, from the batsman because giving the bowler a right-hand, left-hand combination, he has to change his angle each and every time the, the, you know, the ball is bowled. So he has to bowl in a slightly different place. So. Uh, is, is testing him quite quite hard and that's gone away for four as well that was struck firmly away towards the deeply wicket boundary the fieldsman out there didn't have time to collect it it was hit very firmly out there and um, Joe now moves on to I think 31 runs so he's moving along serenely uh, with very little difficulty um, and um, Jake here on 93 so let's keep looking here um, after approximately 10 minutes. Uh, we'll commentate a little more. And that's airy and away towards the deep mid-wicket player who doesn't make an attempt to catch. It was a bit far from it. It was about 30 yards away from him that it fell. So he makes certain that he fields the ball and that only goes for a single. And once again, this brings Jake to the crease. 
think a couple of deliveries to go now. So uh, let's see what happens now. Uh, bowler comes in and Jake plays um, straight to water, which is then fielded by the, um, by the bowler. And that is the over complete. So um, the players move round um, and uh, they move back into um, into their positions at the other end. I'm going to just move a little bit further along here, um, move out because actually if I move the camera out to a little bit more wide angle, I can move around and uh, it doesn't shake the camera like this, which is what I just did on purpose there. So here we are then. And uh, Joe facing, he's on 28 at the moment. He wasn't on, he hasn't gone on to 32, so. You can see the two batsmen there are ready. Players are now ready. And uh, Joe's ready to receive the ball. And bowler bowls. And that's no run. So that's fielded by the wicketkeeper there, who's up there right at the stumps. He's putting the, um, the players under pressure. He's dashed the bales off uh, as an attempt at a stumping. So, um, so there we go. He uh, repairs the bales um, and places them on top of the stumps and the bowler comes in once again so here we go that's driven firmly away towards mid off um, straight bat showing the maker's name and they come through for a single and that ball is then returned via the um, the fieldsman there to the bowler um, and um, we can continue so that fielder at the ball has just moved on to a um, an extra cover area um, into the covers there and he's going to be um, uh, fielding looking to stop that single there um, stop uh, Jake from scoring his runs and here we go and that's out yep yeah, that's out in for a signal to a single to the mid off fielder um, and uh, Jake goes on to 94 so uh, by bits and pieces he's moving on to 100 he's got enough uh, I think he's probably got enough um, balls left to be able to um, score his hundred today, or score another hundred today. Um, oh, yeah, some um, indication from the wicketkeeper there that uh, he was um, not particularly happy that the ball had gone past him, um, and um, that's. Um, two runs there to Joe I think that's not been signalled as um, runs as extras that's runs from the back it would appear and uh, it was a delicate little cut it have to be said it was very fine it went but there was enough for two runs so uh, there we go straight ball over the top of the bowler and comes round to the mid on fielder who fields it and there is a single as you because you probably could see the ball coming over the bowlers uh, and the umpires head there um, it was, um, he just got his mache niblick out there and struck it over the top of the, uh, of the bowler. It's safe runs because there's a large gap of about 35 to 40 yards in an arc uh, between mid-off, which is over that way, and mid-on, which is over to the right. Um, so to the left, you may have seen my hand there. So here we go. That's, um, that's a big strike, six runs there. And I think that's Jake there has made his 100. What a way to get to 100 runs. Well done, Jake. Struck a firm six there. Goes to three figures. The players from the other side uh, congratulate him all there. It's extremely sportsmanlike behaviour. Very well done to everybody there. But what a, what a good innings from Jake there. Uh, captain's, uh, captain's innings leading from the front. Comes in when there's a, a little bit of a wobble. He steadies the ship and makes a century and makes it in fine style so well done jake there congratulations um, another century in the large collection of centuries that he is sure to uh, accumulate during the rest of his uh, uh, long and illustrious i am certain cricketing career there we go uh, no doubt that he's in touch so the over is um, completed as i've said and we've swapped ends the bowler has now got the ball and um uh, a fieldsman here is moving into a mid-off position, I would think. Um, do you know that six? That's a big carry there because that cleared the boundary by a good 15 yards, I'd say. Went into the long grass outside of the um, outside of the playing surface. So there, that was a big hit. Um, very generous of the bowler to give him a ball that he could do that to to get him to uh, three figures there. But the score overall at the moment for Chagford, with uh, one over to go, is 283. So here we go, bowler comes in, bowls and 
That's played away gently into the um, backward extra, backward cover area and fielded for a single, brings the Centurion to um, the wicket. And uh, he's uh, going to make ready now. He scratches his mark there in the ground uh, as he does. It's a, a sort of a habit forming thing that I find myself doing that quite regularly. Surveys the, the pitch and uh, where his gaps are and uh, takes his, uh, his guard there ready to receive the ball from the bowler. There we are. He's walked across the wicket there, try and play a ball outside the off stump to the leg side. And uh, he's looking hard for a second run there, but that's going as leg buys there, uh, I would say. So they're, they're stealing runs on the last ball of the, oh, the last over of the innings. Um, so we'll just video this till the last, um, till the last ball of the innings um, and see what the score is that we that we end up with here and there that's cut away again straight to the backward uh, cover point field or third man fielder uh, and they come through for a single there so just really we're just getting the bits and pieces the extras if we can you know little extra runs at the end that might make all the difference be under in no doubt that there's a big there's a big ask for this side when they come on to bat plimpton they're going to have to, they're going to have to score runs. That's gone high in the air. They're running after it. No, that's been missed. That's struck the ground. And so that's gone for a single. Player fell over looking to try and catch that. But um, he's slightly injured himself. I won't video him being injured. No, he's got up now. Everything's fine. He's, he's OK. He's walking back to his mark here now. Joe now at the, um, at the crease and waiting for his um, turn to face another delivery. And uh, he plays that away out into the leg side, a vacant area there. It's a manufactured shot there, very much on the uh, along the 2020 line, um, and got a single. He's looking to get three or four runs down, more or less exactly towards where we are, to be honest with you. Um, but uh, this is this is what you do when there's um, one over to go. So here we go. Bowler comes in, overcomes his arm. That's struck away firmly towards deep mid on who fields the ball and returns it in and that's a single there. Takes Joe to one, uh, sorry Jake, I beg your pardon, to 103 runs out of 289. And um, that is the innings complete, ladies and gentlemen. So there we are. Um, Chagford finish, we'll just walk back through here. I'm gonna zero back out again a little bit here so that it, um, the camera goes a bit more smoothly. It's the batsman walk off, having done an excellent job for Chagford there today. Um, steadied the innings, steadied the ship. We end up at 289 for five wickets with uh, Joe on uh, 35 not out and Jake on 103 not out uh, after 45 overs. So make no mistake, that's a tall order for any, any batting side to come in and, um, and try and get. They're looking to get more than a runner ball right from the, the first ball. So they're looking at probably seven or so, seven or eight and over, something along that line. So it's a big ask. And they've got some good bowling to face today in the, in the name of um, Jake and um, Jim and um, various other people, Richard Hopwood as well. He'll be biting chunks out the stumps, no doubt at all. So there we are. So there's another short um, video from Chagford Cricket Club there as the players retire to the boundary for what used to be called T, but is just the gap between the, the innings these days. But uh, there we are, there'll be a half an hour gap and then we'll return to the pitch once again. Um, I may not be there this time, but um, we'll, have a, um, we'll have a little um, possibly look if we can, but there we are. So um, that's it from Chagford Cricket Club for today. And um, thank you all for turning up and having a little look and uh, hopefully gave you something interesting to see. And we'll see you on the next one. Goodbye for now.